I didn't even know this. Apparently Bandos God Swords are getting a buff or something. And I have 16 in the bank from PKN obviously. And I PK'd these when they were 2.55 mil. And they sort of went up just a little bit. I just made 73.5 mil profit from doing nothing. No way. I'm just checking the price right now. I sold them at the peak. Well, they peaked at around 7.8 mil, but right now, the same day, they are 5.6 mil. I could not have sold them at a better price. Damn. Anyway, the new Gargoyle boss came out today requiring level 75 Slayer. However, there's a little bit of a problem. There's a kind of a limited amount of worlds here, and there's 200,000 people who can do this boss with 75 Slayer. To do the boss, you need to get a brittle key. From Gargoyles, you need a Slayer task in order to get the Brittle Key. So, Gargoyles are gonna be packed to save the least. So, if my YouTube brain, you know, thinking of creative ideas, thinking outside the box, instead of just doing the boss, why don't we go in a PvP world at Gargoyles? Because all the worlds are gonna be completely full, and I was correct. So, I went PKing at Gargoyles. There's plenty of other PKers as well. I got into some fights as well. And I brought the 99 Magic Skill Cape because we can spellbook swap. So we TB and then we go into Ancients. These guys are normal, so I have a big, big advantage. This guy is so clueless and he's TB'd. We've got this guy in the bag. Let's go. Nice, good fight. Good fight, bro. Nice. Oh, damn, this guy had runes for days. Get a nice price check. We just PK'd 1.4 mil. Damn. Ran out of spellbook swaps. Didn't really fancy PKing on normal spellbook. I could fight the PKs, but if I wanted to fight the PKs, I'd just go all 25 like Varrock and fight there. So, what I decided to do was to pretend to slay the gargoyles, however, have a Dragon Claw switch. This is much more effective. As we all know, I do this all the time. You know, drop them within 10 seconds rather than trying to get them out of food for about five minutes to maybe get them. So this is the funnest method for me, most effective, but obviously you risk a lot. And I've got to tank all the way to Canafis. But anyway, this should be fun. Let's go. 325 XP drop. And good fight. How's he still alive? <laughs> How's he still alive? Come on now. Right, ready? Watch this. This guy right here. Let's go. Come on, please. Free protect melee, good fight. Okay, um, I need to get out of here. Right, I've been TB, that's no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spec this guy out. I'm underneath him. <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance, 438 XP drop. Ready? That guy go there is a little bit too close though. Oh yes, that XP drop, let's go. And good fight. <laughs> right, okay, this guy right here. Let's go. Please. He's AFK. Damn. Good fight. <laughs> nice. No one's really got any loot. Oh, 294k. That's the best loot so far. Room play legs, I'll take it. Oh, a G-Mall as well. I mean, it's one of the better loots. So obviously there was a lot of PKs here and I had to tank to Canifis probably about like five times because I got TB'd. I was fine, completely fine. I had plenty of bruise left. But I was pretending I was TB'd here, you know, trying to go up and down the stairs to log out. But obviously little do they know I have Dragon Claws, so I'm going to try to spec them out. And some of these PKs risk bank. Damn, imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Legit, like what? <laughs> Yo, give me that. This guy's gone. Come on, combo. Come on, that should have been it. Oh, wow. This guy, if he splashed, he would have been dropped for his bank. Anyway, that's enough of that. Obviously, when the hype goes down, there's no need for people to go to PvP worlds anymore. But yeah, this will be the only video you'll ever see on this in your entire life. Because 
You'll never see someone on a PvP world at Gargoyles anymore. Anyway, I wanted to try out the Gargoyle boss, and obviously, like I said before, to do the Gargoyle boss, you need to get a key from the regular Gargoyles with a Slayer task. And I didn't get a single key within about 350 gargoyles. I just didn't even bother. I, I mean, I ran out of Slayer points, so it was kind of impossible. So, I'm sorry about that. But, seriously, not really missing out on much whatsoever. It's like a med-level boss, and the drops are kind of meh. Like, there's no best in slot. It drops something you can attach to Bandos boots, which makes them the best defensive boots in the game. Not the best offensive stats. Then it drops a granite ring, which is literally dead content it gives some tiny defensive boost in stats and then granite gloves around the same as rune gloves it's basically med level content and then it drops a granite hammer i was going to make a video on this p gain but it's worse than a granite mall it's literally pointless big things might be coming to runescape it's yet to be pulled yet, but there is a blog on it, and that is Wilderness Rejuvenation Part 2. If you don't know, Part 1 happened in 2014, where they added all the Wilderness bosses. Even bigger things could be coming. Obviously, PvP updates are very controversial. I don't know whether it's going to pass. Obviously, me personally, I want it to pass, because obviously my whole channel is pretty much based around PvP. There is going to be a lot of content there. So obviously the point of all these updates is to bring more people to the wilderness. To make it more active. Because obviously more like skillers and PVM is going to the wilderness. More PKs. So more PKs fight those PKs. It makes it more active. I mean look at the wilderness bosses. Without them there wouldn't be many people in the wilderness. So basically the chaos temple in the wilderness. Where you can telegram wine of Zamorox. You can now train prayer there if obviously it passes. You'll gain a 25% boost in XP as compared to a gilded altar with two lit burners. And if you've completed the wilderness elite diaries, you get a 35% boost. There's also a guy outside who will unnote your bones. It'll cost 50 GP per bone. However, with wildy elites, it's going to be free. So, is it going to be worth training prayer here? Risking all your bones for that extra XP? Will the risk be worth it? I hope it is, because that would be a great video, PK and people there training prayer. However, it's multi-inside, so it'd be really interesting. All these updates I'm mentioning may be subject to change, obviously, after they've listened to the community and everything, but this is just a general idea. Anyway, Mage Arena Part 2, there is going to be God Cape imbues, an upgrade of the God Capes at the moment. So it requires 75 magic and you need to track down and defeat three brand new bosses found in random locations within deep multi-combat wilderness. And you must defeat them with God Spells. There's a little bit more to it, like if you die with the cape or drop the cape, um, yeah, it'll be lost on death. Who remembers Revenants? Those ghost things that roamed around the wilderness and everyone ran off whenever they saw one? They were good times. Well, they implemented a rev cave, and this was one of my favorite things to do, because basically they dropped PvP armors pre OC, and that's actually where I got my name from. Torva and Vesta put it together. Torvesta. Obviously not the Torva bit, but basically Vesta was a PvP armor dropped by these revenants, and whenever you saw one of those drops on the floor, it was the best feeling ever. These were so expensive and so rare. The rev caves will contain various different levels and types of monsters, so like a revenant dragon, hellhound, goblin, cyclops, and the higher level they are, the higher chance you've got of getting a rare drop. The rev caves are going to be a multi-combat throughout, but you can expect to find many high level shortcuts and escapes. You can also use a cannon in there, and it's also not just going to be revs inside the rev caves, there's also going to be lesser demons, green dragons, greater demons, ankus, and hellhounds. You know, different places to do wildy slayer so you don't have to go to level 50 wilderness to do your hellhound task however it will be a multi-combat green dragons in multi-combat i remember pre oc it used to be bot heaven there and you literally just used to get them in a barrage clump it was great they said it's going to be two mil per hour they said good luck staying there for that long without getting killed by another player or a pesky revenant though so yeah high risk high reward we will see so let's talk about what these revenants are going to drop the Revenant Bracelet is only going to be useful within the Revenant Caves. This was just like the Ferinthian Bracelet. I remember you had to wear it, otherwise the Revenants used to wreck you. So basically, they're not aggro when you're wearing the bracelet. And also, you'll be immune to their attacks, so you won't get wrecked. However, each attack they attack you with, it will drain one shard. So basically, the Revenants are going to drop Revenant Shards and... 
they're going to be tradable. However, the Revenant bracelet would have an elk value of around 45k and it will always be dropped on death. It would drop a teleport scroll which will teleport you to the entrance of the cave. This is content, the Amulet of Peril. It increases your strength bonus based on how low your active hit points are whilst in PvP combat, not PvM, only in PvP. Damn, Darokin is going to be on a whole new level. It's actually going to encourage people to risk. It'll offer slightly more bonuses to that of the Torture Amulet. Yeah, so it's not going to be best in slot for PvM, just for PvP. And I expect it to be worth quite a lot. They want to add some Revenant Van Braces, because basically the best in slot range gloves are Barrow's gloves. Best in slot for Mage is the Tormented Bracelet, so. so these Revenant Van Braces will be the best in slot for range. The loot key scroll can be redeemed at the edge of a witch, and basically dead member keys are coming to the wilderness. So whenever you take down a player, instead of filling your entire invent space up with loot and not being able to go for the second kill, it goes into a key and you can hold up to five keys just like dead man mode. That is sick. So you can pick up everything and you can stay out there rather than banking. And here we go. Here is Vesta. PVP armors. Basically, they require 78 defense to equip. And they would last for one hour of combat before fully disintegrating. So you can't repair them. So it's not going to be used for PVM. Don't worry about that. It's pretty much only PVP. I mean, you could use it for PVM, but it just would not be worth it in the slightest. And uh, these stats are going to be subject to change, obviously. So they're probably going to be best in slot. I imagine so. So there's going to be Vesta, Statius, Morrigans, which is for ranged, and then Zerials, which is for mage. Mate, imagine Tall Vesta going Vesta PK. The content here is going to be insane. That's if it passes. So, yeah, we'll see.